Hi, I'm Malin, and today I wanted to talk about how and why I quit playing video games. So, why should you kind of listen to me? I've had a lot of problems kind of with it, and recently I've spent over a month, this past month, I haven't played a video game, haven't felt like playing it at all. I've had it around, it's been around, like it's still there, I still have the PS4, I still have, you know, some of the apps and that on my phone and that, and I could still do it, but. I have no need or no desire to because I've kind of realized that what's most important to you and I've kind of gone through these steps. And so what's the problem with it? The problem is that it's in entertainment and it's very stimulating and it kind of, it satisfies a need in us. And that can be good, you know, sometimes it's fun, you know, if you're just with your friends and you're doing it every now and again but eventually it can kind of turn into this bad habit that kind of sticks around and then you're spending way too much time on video games and you're not actually developing any proper skills, you know, you're not doing anything that gives you this sense of confidence, you know, like, could you go around and say, oh, I'm like, I'm like the best FIFA player. Would you feel confident saying that you're the best FIFA player or the best Fortnite player, the best Apex player, whatever game you play, the best Minecrafter to people around you, to like the, your co-workers, to your parents, to your family, your friends, whatever, you know, would you feel confident doing that? And for me, I was kind of like, there was a bit of a shame with it because part of me felt bad for doing it because I knew that it wasn't good for me. And once you kind of realize it's not good for you, you can get into this negative cycle where it's like, you keep doing it, but then you feel bad for it, but then you keep doing it to get away from that bad feeling. And it just becomes this, this terrible loop cycle that you kind of go through. So the first thing that I kind of realized was that you have to gain awareness you have to realize okay so this is a pr bad problem because this is um, you know it's addictive it's kind of satisfying my needs I'm spending too much time doing it and that sort of thing and then once you kind of realize that it's that you try and limit it and this can be kind of hard but I think for me what I found really useful was not to delete it not to get rid of it because then you would go back and re-download it anyway, it's, that's what I found. And so what I found was just being aware, so allowing myself to play it, allowing myself to do it and kind of noticing how I felt afterwards, you know, did I feel good, did I feel great, how did it kind of affect me? And I realized it made me feel overstimulated, it made me feel really flat, it made me feel lazy, it kind of made me crave bad foods and it ruined my kind of sleep, I was getting really bad sleep and I was waking up tired and then you know, it just kind of becomes a cycle. And then I think the next kind of things you've got to realize, I don't want this for my life anymore. And you really got to feel that, you really got to notice that. And you've got to be conscious and awareness of how it's making you feel if you really want to make a change. And so then once you kind of decide that you want to make a change, you kind of think, all right, so what's more important to me? And for me, I was like, well, I want to gain some financial independence. I want to become better at communicating. I've always kind of wanted to create a YouTube channel, but I've never committed to it. I haven't stuck through it. And I'm like, I just need to stick to it. I just need to build up the skills. And then eventually, you know, I'll kind of find my way through it. I'll kind of learn what I like and what I don't like. I'll gain better skills, gain more confidence in myself. And then I'll kind of feel better about my life. So if I was playing video games, like FIFA was mine, if I was playing that all the time, then that was going to negatively affect me and I realized well I could do FIFA or I could do these YouTube videos and I could do these other kind of things for my health that I like doing and then you just start doing it and then all of a sudden it's like there's kind of like this time where you're like you're still playing it a bit but then you're doing the things that you want to and then once you start of kind of start getting going on these things and you like see a bit of progress and you're like oh this actually feels good it's like it kind of sucks to do you know, but I feel better for doing it and I feel better after doing it and I'm starting to get better day after day. Eventually you realize like, oh, why wouldn't I do this? Why wouldn't I record videos? Why wouldn't I read and work out and work on my skills rather than getting good at the video game that didn't really matter to me? And so that's why I kind of learned how and why I stopped playing them. And I hope this can kind of help you. I'll see you in the next video.